Hey guys, Dave with Moneyology here. This is April 28, 2019, and welcome to another Uranium Sector video review. For those of you new to our videos, we're going to do two things here today. We're going to take a look at the URA ETF, which is not a pure Uranium ETF, but nonetheless, it's the largest one out there from several perspectives and time frames. We're going to take a look at individual names in the sector that are tied to Uranium in one way or the other from a weekly perspective and keep in mind I don't do fundamental analysis for the most part uh, we're part of a very very active and engaged community and there are a lot of great folks who do fundamental analysis so I encourage you to follow their work but this is just uh, an incorporation of all the information that's out out there that's available in the charts and that my my objective is to really help you identify what's taking place from a broader time frame so without further ado let's let's take a look all right, so starting with the Uranium Participation Corp, this effectively tracks the price of Uranium. And, and so this is starting from a monthly perspective. And as you notice here, from 2011 all the way to where we are today, there's been this broadening uh, circular rounded top, uh, bottom rather. And so it's it, it looks like it's getting ready to break out, but obviously we had a pullback from this pretty, pretty nice run up from 3.5 to 5.14, pulled back, uh, right below the 50 uh, RSI which you want to recapture that relatively soon and it looks to me like this is <clears throat> effectively a back test and so if we hold this area this area here this could be a very nice opportunity to start running higher again here it is on the weekly time frame uh, notice there's support here around that 38 38 uh, level of RSI and again rounded top kind of cup and handle over here uh, and now we're testing that bottom bottom half of the uh, cup and handle and I expect it to find support and bounce here now what's interesting here I'll point this out it's something that I've been pointing out in previous videos is you notice we had three new highs in price but we had consecutively lower highs in momentum that's a sign that this rally is going to fade and it's going to pull back and that's exactly what we've had here so far. So uh, let's see if this support will hold and we can establish a new rally going forward. A uh, couple, couple of perspectives on the URA for the shorter term investors, traders. Here's the hourly chart. Uh, obviously, we've fallen back pretty, pretty rapidly from 12, about 13, all the way to 1206. We're finding some support here. Uh, we're building some momentum, new highs in uh, in RSI here bouncing off that 38 level and I expect it to move higher at least to make a run towards the 50 hour and the 200 hour moving average and here's why here's the daily perspective what do we have here we have a double bottom we have a double bottom and uh, momentum hit support at that 31 30 30 to 31 uh, level uh, and notice that this has been a level of support in previous uh, corrections and previous pullbacks and sure enough that's where we're finding support so far should this hold I expect another rally back back to the highs at 13.3 and then kinda see what happens thereafter here's the weekly perspective this bullish wedge pattern every time we seem to hit this red line it seems to fall back and so here we are again falling back can we fall further absolutely uh, so it's gonna be very important to see how how things play out over here the one thing I'll point out is momentum on this pullback on a weekly is not so uh, strong and uh, the, the actual 1299 versus 1329 showed positive divergence where 1299 had a higher momentum peak than 1329 did that's 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 a positive sign so <clears throat> I think we're very close to a, a longer term breakout but until this breaks out it's still in the downtrend notice we ha we've had a shooting star right here a pullback and and this is the monthly so this needs to break out to the upside before initiating uh, longer term positions from a fundamental perspective now let's take a look at what I've got in the sector I encourage you to give me any names that you think might need to be on this watch list I've excluded W uh, Westwater resources because I based on my diligence I feel that it's a pump and dump and I don't want to support those sort of companies so starting with ALX Uranium Corp uh, just a broadening uh, base here that wants to move higher but every time it moves higher there's a lot of supply here and it, and it hasn't done so so uh, if this breaks 10 cents this can really run hard but until it does so there's really nothing to see here right now Anfield Energy this is one that we do own and we really like 
the fundamental as well as the technical picture here. Notice a uh, very nice run here and then we've consolidated here for a while and now we've built another base here around that 20 cent level with positive divergence in RSI. Uh, we, we broke, we peaked above that 50 level, broke below it, found support and now we're uh, testing a breakout again. If 50 on the weekly breaks to the upside, that's going to be a very, very strong move. Possibly a run towards 30 cents, possibly higher upon any fundamental or a larger uh, market move in uranium. Appia Energy Corp, this is hard to see here, so this is, I, I apologize guys, uh, but bottom line is, uh, we pulled back and we found support here at the 50 RSI level, which again is very important, coincides with the 50 EMA around the 28 cent level. And so far we had uh, we had a nice hammer pattern last week and uh, this could be a good area to add or initiate positions. Blue Sky Uranium, another one that had a very nice breakout from this um, bullish wedge pattern and, and now we kind of retested from the, from the upside both on RSI, which had positive divergence, and now we're finding support at that 50 level. Uh, should this hold, this could be a very positive sign that this is indeed a legitimate breakout and uh, it intends to move higher towards that 32.5 cent level. We own this name as well. Cameco, that's the leader in the space, and that's kind of that's the main uh, stock in the URA ETF that we outlined uh, earlier. And notice that even though it's still in this uptrend, momentum is breaking down and I don't know what to make of it but this little uptrend that we've had since 2017 is effectively over unless it can hold this it can rally back here in the, in the next couple of weeks and I don't know the fundamental backtrack behind this but uh, it doesn't look good so uh, keep an eye on this one I don't know what impact it has on the overall sector but certainly uh, it impacts the uranium uh, ETF can Alaska Uranium, another one here that's been in this bullish wedge pattern. Now it's consolidating here. It seems like it has a lot of support around the 20 cent level and a lot of resistance on that momentum RSI. Uh, now it's coinciding, the downtrend line is coinciding with that 50 RSI. It needs to break higher until it, uh, to, to establish a new uptrend. If it can't and it breaks that 20 cent level, uh, look out below because there's not much support until about that 10 cent level from a technical perspective. Uh, Deep Yellow, another one that's been consolidating so uh, so closely that it's very hard to really track out. But bottom line is it needs to rise and break above that 50 RSI level uh, for it to, to maintain and establish a new uptrend. Until it does that, uh, it's still going to be con dead money and consolidating for a while. Uh, Denison Mines, another one that's consolidating around the 50 RSI level, but I don't like that it's breaking below. And um, again, until it breaks that 70 level, there's not much to, to do here. Uh, either 70 to the upside or 45 to the downside, it's stuck between this range. Encore Energy Corp. This is one that we own, and we have a small position in it, and we bought it around here. And so, you know, it's obviously done really well, and then it's come back a little bit. And it's hard to trade names like this because of, certainly from the U.S. perspective, because it has a pretty pretty sizable margin when you buy it and you sell it that's you're giving up five percent each way so it's not not a tradable uh, en entry uh, but notice it has broken below um, this this move here over the last couple of months so that's something to, to to watch out for it could fall lower it could fall down all the way to 12 cents possibly as low as 11 cents or it could bounce back you know, with a lot of these smaller names, these technical patterns aren't as strong, but they still give us a good perspective of what's taking place right now. And this pullback meant we had a nice run, and uh, this was basically the peak of the rally for the time being. And let's see how low it, it goes before it finds f finds some strong support. Uh, energy fuels, uh, one that's in this rounded bottom cup and handle pattern here formation, and um, even though it made a nice breakout from this downtrend, uh, it's it's fallen back pretty hard. And let's see if 50 support holds. You notice it closed the week slightly below 50, but if it can recapture that, coupled with the 50-week uh, RSI uh, momentum support, it maybe it can rally back above that three and a half level uh, on the on the U.S. dollar. Okay, first vanadium just included this because they're related, uh, and a, a lot of a lot of the 
followers here have have requested this particular name and um, obviously it had a tremendous run from about five cents all the way to 160 it had this uh, negative divergence notice 141 160 momentum was lower and so this this was your peak usually stocks usually stocks double peak and when they do there's uh, and there's a double top there's usually negative divergence so if you miss selling here and it pulls back you you can be pretty confident to to assume that there should be another attempt at a at a rally and if that one fails that's your opportunity to sell and sure enough uh you know we've pulled back pretty considerably and now we're consolidating again we're building a, a higher highs in momentum which is very positive so if this can gain some steam break above that 60 level there could be a very nice move to the upside this is a nice level nice risk reward entry 35 cents 34 cents as the stop loss Anywhere here to to pick up along uh, might be prudent with with PPO moving in a positive trajectory. Fission 3.0, another one we've picked up some shares of, and um, we found support at this 38 level. We broke out of this uh, bullish wedge. We've retested it from the upside, and uh, now we're double bottoming on RSI. Uh, and so, and meanwhile. PPO continues to build strength. So I think eventually this move has a very strong move to the upside, but it hasn't happened yet. So it needs to break 50 uh, for it to really uh, get some fuel, if you will, uh, under under itself, some fire. Fission Uranium Corp, uh, one that, you know, it's got a good fundamental story behind it from, from, from what I've gleaned. But, you know, there's just so much noise here. So until it breaks that 50 cent level, there's really no reason to uh, to own this stock uh, unless you're just trading from 35 to 50 because I think it's going to get there sooner rather than later. Uh, if it's building, uh, bu building higher highs in momentum, that's very positive. It's got like a, it's got a triple bottom here uh, with with multiple new new highs in momentum. So I think eventually it does take off, but until it does so, it's kind of dead money. Uh, Forces Metals. This is one that we do own, and uh, it's had a pretty nasty pullback this week, about 26%. So it's not for the faint of heart. But again, that's why it's important to buy in places like here, here, um, rather than initiating a position here, putting all your eggs in, in this basket, and then falling, watching a 25% pullback, can, which can be pretty painful. But bottom line is this is a long-term investment, and and what from what I see, so long as it holds this 18 cent zone uh, and this and this breakout point there should be no technical problems with this name and it can just as easily uh, bounce back. I noticed it broke below the 200 and the 50 week uh, moving averages and that's probably one of the reasons why uh, some of these stop loss triggers were were hit. And the traders know that which is why they do sort of things. Uh, Global Atomic Corp, a uh, great fundamental story behind this name uh, and and so it's just been progressively going higher and higher and higher broke out of this uh, p bullish pennant and now it's consolidating to make a move above that 50 RSI zone I will point out that momentum here is slightly lower than uh, previous uh, lower highs at 45 versus 46 and uh, so it could pull back here uh, and if it pulls back this will be a great opportunity to add of course if it breaks out another opportunity to in initiate initiate a long position Gold mining, one that we really like from a long-term perspective, owns a very nice uh, uranium property, unexplored uranium property in the Ap Athabasca Basin, and uh, this could be a very profitable spin-off for this company. So if the uranium market picks up, this one can really fly, not on gold, but on the uranium story behind it, and uh, the chairman of this company is the CEO of UEC, so there's a lot of opportunity there for a spin-off. And notice we broke out. Uh, had a nice nice momentum uh, move to the upside and now we broke down and we broke down but we're retesting it from the upside level here and and now we're back to that I would say 38 level and of RSI and that's also coincides with that previous breakout point right over right over here is when we really took off and there are multiple points of support around that level so uh, can we pull back a little bit more? Sure, but this could be a very good entry uh, to go long if those who haven't uh, purchased yet. GovX Uranium, another one that we own a little bit of. Uh, great fundamental story. Uh, broke out of this downtrend. Now it's consolidating above this line. Very positive. Uh, successfully uh, retested the 50 RSI level and now looks like it wants to move higher. Uh, up 8% last week. The next real um, zone of resistance is that 20 cent zone so I would not be surprised if we hit it next week. ISO Energy 
Uh, one that kind of had this bearish wedge that was developing, pointed this out in previous videos. Momentum was kind of weakening. Obviously, it's had a really, really nice run. Uh, broke the week below the 50 RSI level, uh, below this, so uh, b below this trend line. Could it recapture it and, and run higher? Absolutely. But this is one right now that it's showing a lot of technical weakness. I, what I want to see it do is consolidate right above or right below this 50 uh, week moving average and recapture some of its technical strength uh, because right now they're showing some considerable weakness. Laramide Resources, uh, another one that we own, it looks pretty good. It uh, broke out of this downtrend, retested it, created a bullish wedge, broke out. Now it's retesting that from the upside. Uh, it's pulled back slightly below the 50 RSI, but this is one that I think will recapture it. Uh, a lot of positive momentum and technical indicators. Notice PPO is, is moving above zero here. Uh, and, and if it can break above zero and build a positive trend in moving average uh, convergence, I think that's a very positive long-term sign, and I think that this can move higher uh, pretty rapidly. Next-gen energy. Uh, another one, fundamental story is good. And solid but the stock just doesn't want to move and uh, you know when a company has uh, is closer to production in in times like these when uranium is just floundering between 20 and 30 and it's just not profitable and there's debt on the balance sheet it's just very hard for a company to operate and so this is why some of the major players uh, are, are performing very weakly and so if this breaks the 150 level this can fall pretty darn hard all the way down to maybe 105 possibly lower uh, all the way to 70 so uh, keep an eye on this one I don't like how it's performing and if you own it you might want to trim consider trimming some position uh, should this 150 level break to the downside couple more names here uh, Paladin Energy this one is interesting I've been just don't know much about this company. I believe it's an Australian-based uranium company. It's 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 got this just bullish chart here, and uh, if it break if if this pattern breaks to the downside, that's very bearish. But it's it seems like it just wants it's just consolidating, consolidating. And I just feel like at some point it's going to break higher. Uh, just just an eye test, if you will. Momentum was weakening. We broke lower, and then boom, had a 22% week to the upside. So keep an eye on this one. If it can break to the upside, uh, might want to do some fundamental research. Uh, this can really pick up steam if there's a fundamental story behind it. Plateau Uranium, another one with this bullish wedge here. We've had multiple uh, wedges like this uh, over the past couple of years, and I feel at some point it's going to break to the upside uh, in, in a very, very powerful fashion as it has in the past. So now that it's consolidating here, Keep an eye on this one, and it might be uh, time to pick up some shares of Plateau. Uh, PurePoint is one that we've been accumulating um, over here just because we, th we think that this consolidation is very bullish and eventually breaks to the upside. Uh, but, um, you know, it broke below the 50 and the 200-week moving average. So in the short term, possible uh, more weakness, but uh, it's below the 50 RSI. But we just like this pattern from a longer term perspective. Sky Harbor, another one with a good fundamental story, consolidating here. Uh, and, and I like the, the way that RSI is, is creating higher highs here. So I feel like eventually it's going to make a parabolic move like this. Uh, to the upside, we can see a week where uranium you know, pops and this breaks 42 cents and it makes a run towards 54, possibly higher. From a longer term perspective, you want to see this break 42 cents before really going long uh, from an, as an investment. Uh, UEX Corp, uh, one that we initiated position on last week because we broke out and we successfully back tested this breakout point. I think the next target of 20 cents is reasonable, 30 cents is possible, and uh, notice how momentum is just building, 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 and now it's consolidating below the 50. And once it breaks 50, that's going to be a 10, 20% move to the upside. So I uh, really like the the setup here right now, and uh, you know, from a long term perspective, you know, I don't. I have to do more due diligence, but in the short run, uh, this one looks really good. And uh, two more names here, Your Energy, URG, rounded base. This one, uh, once the uranium picture turns, probably goes to 10 bucks uh, or higher. So it's got a tremendous uh, story behind it, and it's just a question of time. Uh, technicals look great. Obviously, it's not going to have your 20, 30, 40 bagger returns like some of these smaller names will. But if this, if the uranium does turn as a lot of us expect it to, there's going to be some really nice uh, gains from a 
in a, from a more conservative perspective. Finally, uh, UEC, Uranium Energy Corp. Now, finally, we've got one more. Uh, broke out of this downtrend, and now we've, we're back testing at the 50 level. I like this. I think it's going to move towards that 190 level relatively soon. And, uh, and once that breaks out, this can also be um, one of those that goes past $10 in, in, um, in a renewed bull market. Finally, Western Uranium Corp. This one's uh, just confounding. I mean, it's this cup and handle, bull, bull flag, breakout, bullish pennant over here. And I, you would think that this would move higher. But, you know, technicals is not a 100% uh, game. And so it just shows us probabilities. And the probabilities were positive, about, well above 50%. But they don't always work out. Sure enough, we broke down. This is not a positive sign. Should We'll probably end up back testing this, this point here at about 75 cents. And let's see what happens. Uh, if it can continue building strength on PPO, then I think this can break back higher. Uh, but in the short run, that that's not a good-looking breakdown. Um, don't like what I saw there. So uh, anyway, guys, I appreciate your support. want to just remind you, for those of you who are new to our videos, we are launching a premium uh, service starting in July. We actually started development on the website earlier this week. I'm very excited about that. We're opening the premium service to 100 subscribers. We've got 40 of you that have graciously pre-committed. I appreciate that uh, support. And uh, it's going to be a mix of technicals, fundamentals. We're going to try to bring in with your support, with your help, uh, contributors to the site to, to provide their content. Uh, there's going to be a lot of uh, free resources. I want this to be an education platform. I want this to be a platform that helps active investors, do-it-yourself investors like yourself that want to use technicals, that want to use fundamentals to become a better investor. And uh, that's really the purpose of the site. This is not a uh, trading platform that's going to you know, have a watch list every single day and tell you how to trade um, on a 15-minute basis. But from a longer-term perspective, uh, this will help you become better investors and hopefully make uh, m make yourselves a lot of money longer term. So appreciate the support. Sh shoot us a note, Dave at Moneyology.com, if you want to be a part of this and if you want to pledge your support uh, longer term. Thank you so much and have yourselves a wonderful.